In 1879, Constantine Falberg, a chemist working at Johns Hopkins University, made an accidental discovery that would forever change how we sweeten our food. After a long day synthesizing coal tar derivatives, Falberg noticed an intensely sweet taste on his fingers during dinner, despite having washed his hands. Returning to his laboratory, he tasted various compounds until he identified the source, benzoic sulfamide, a compound he had spilled on his hands earlier that day. This compound, which he named saccharin, was approximately 300 times sweeter than sugar, yet contained zero calories and didn't affect blood glucose levels. In 1884, Falberg patented saccharin without including his research supervisor, Ira Remsen, creating controversy that shadowed the discovery's significance. Initially marketed as a medicine for diabetics, saccharin became widely popular during sugar shortages in World War I and World War II. Saccharin's success inspired scientists to develop other artificial sweeteners, including cyclamate in 1937, aspartame in 1965, and sucralose in 1976. In the 1970s, saccharin faced controversy when studies linked high doses to bladder cancer in rats, leading to warning labels, though these were later removed when human studies showed different results. Today, the artificial sweetener market exceeds $7 billion globally, with options including stevia, monk fruit extract, and newer synthetic compounds. What began with Falberg's unwashed hands has evolved into a sophisticated industry, demonstrating how accidental discoveries can revolutionize science and transform everyday life.